Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on what are all the uh, top five functionalities that we are going to work on in upcoming sessions. And accordingly, the very first feature that we are going to implement is register the users. As of now, like we don't have the uh, register um, form for any uh, user. So we are going to implement uh, like register functionality so that any user uh, who wants to register into our application he or she can register it so let me just quickly show you how we can uh, add this particular form again we have both uh, we have both side changes like we need to add some api in a, a back end and we need to add some uh, ui changes on a angular side as well so let's first of all see how we can just create one small api to do the uh, to do this and, uh, and then we will come back to the ui so let me just take you to the IntelliJ and let me just open the project and let me just go to the Java and inside the Java, let me just go to the com.youtube.ecommerce then controller and over here, let me just go to the user controller. Now, previously in user controller, we were using one method that is called as a register new user uh, method. And this is the uh, method or API that we implemented long back whenever we were looking into the uh, JWT token and role based authentication uh, related videos. But right now, like as since we uh, have implemented this API at very long back, so I'm, I have just commented out and we can just try to implement a new API. So over here in a controller, what we have to is we have to just add one API as you can see and user is the entity class that we are using. So let me just take you to the user in the user. We have username, user first name, user last name and user password alongside. We have the role as well. So user can have the role like a user or admin role. So accordingly, we have the uh, roles as well. And if you just see like one user, like any one uh, person can have multiple roles. So that is the reason we are using set over here. So um, I hope you are getting the structure of our entity class and username is the primary key of our uh, entity class. So this is how the user entity is uh, implemented. So let me just use public user or right now let me just keep it as a void. In a moment we will just uh, change it. And let me just give it as a register new user and inside a bracket, we have to give the parameters. So what kind of parameter it is going to take is it is going to take the entity of uh, entity like object of user class, something like this. And we have we have to use at the rate request body as we are going to um, request these user related details from the body of um, like from the body of request so that is the reason we have to use at the right request body and now we have to give the mapping as well so it will be a post mapping and then we have to give a path as well so let me just use register new user like this and now one more important thing that we have to do is we have to just copy this particular path and we have to you know add it into a array so that we can bypass the security because register new user like is the is the api which will be open for all the users it will be open for all the users so right now you must be knowing that we are using jwt token and role based authentication mechanism right so if we go through the jwt it will ask JWT token for this API as well. But as of now, we don't want any kind of security on this API because uh, any user who will come to the application for first time, he or, on, he or she will register it, right? So at that time, so new user will not be having any JWT token. So that is the reason we don't want to put any security on this API. So how we can bypass it? We can just go to the um, configuration package and we can just go to the web security configuration and over here if you just scroll down inside the configure method we have one array that is called as a uh, authorized request dot any matches so we have to give the list of all the apis where we want to bypass the security so these are all the apis where we want to bypass the security and if you just see i have already uh, mentioned slash register new user over here so similarly, you have to just mention it like this. 
So once you mentioned your API over here, it will not ask you for JWT token, at least for these APIs, which we have mentioned over here. Now let me just uh, close this class and now let me just come back to our user controller. And now what we have to do is we have to just go to the user service. In a user service, we have to add one uh, method again. So let me just use public and let me just again keep it as void and let me just give it as a register new user, something like this. And it will again take user as a parameter. So let me just use user user and now what we have to do is we have to just use user dao dot save and we have to just pass the user something like this and whatever user it will return so like save method what it does is it like saves uh, this particular entity in a database and whatever saved entity like whatever entity it saves into a database it gives it um, as a return like it it returns us that entity so we can just use return over here and now as we are returning the user entity from this um, register new user we have to just change a, a return type as well something like this and now let me just save it now over here um, the main thing that we have left back is we are going we have to assign a role as well because like we every user will have at least one role and default role will be a user itself so we have to add that role as well so how we can add this so first of all let me just do one thing let me just use role dao over here and let me just use it as a find by id and now what uh, id we have to use we have to just use user so these are all the things that we have configured in our uh, jwt um, uh, related sessions so we have to just use find by id user and user is like you uppercase you and then let me just use dot get at the end because find by id returns an optional so now let me just save the result something like this and now next thing that we have to do is we have to just create one set so why we are creating set because if you just go to the user entity then you will just see that uh, for the role we have the set so that is the reason we have to just use one set over here so let me just use set of role and roles role set is equals to new hash set something like this and role set dot add so we have to just add this particular role something like this so whatever role we have fetched we have to just add that role over here and now once that role is added the next thing that we have to do is like user dot set role and we have to just use role set something like this so now we have successfully added a role for a user the next thing that we have to do is we have to encode user password so right now uh, if you just come back a uh, little bit below i have some commented method over here we are able to see that get encoded password right so what it does is like whatever password user have um, like with user have filled in a form it takes that password and it encodes it into like uh, it it makes it uh, encoded password and that encoded password we are going to store in a database we are not going to straight uh, store the readable format uh, password in a database we are going to just encode it and then only we are going to just save it so we have to use um, some encoding strategy as well so for this uh, in a jwt and a spring security what we have we have something called as a password encoder so we can just use this particular password encoder so you can just auto wire it something like this now let me just come back a little bit and let me just add one more method over here let me just make it as public string get encoded password and what it will just do is it will just take one password which will be of type string it will just encode it so let me just use password encoder dot encode it will just encode it and then it will just return the encoded password so let me just use something like this and now 
what we have to do is we have to just call this method from our um, for our user as well so let me just do one thing let me just do user dot set password and before that let me just do one thing user dot uh, or instead of user let me just use get encoded password in a bracket we have to just pass user dot get user password and let me just store it into a string something like this and whatever password we will receive from the after encoding we have to just set it to the user password and then only we are going to save it so now let me just change this uh, sequence something like this yes now it is looking perfectly fine so now our register new user method is ready we have to just come to the controller and we have to just call user service dot register new user and we have to just pass pass our user details something like this and now register new user again returns us the user details so we can just return it to the ui as well so we can just use it as a return and now we are returning something so we have to just change a data type uh, change a return type something like this and now our register new user api is ready now let me just do one thing let me just come to the user service and previously i was using these particular lines so let me just comment them uh, let me just remove the comment line from them so that it should work as expected so you you can just ignore it if you are not aware about the uh, init role and user so this was the method that we were using previously uh, instead of registering the new user we were just hard we were just using some hard coded users and this is the code for that hard coded user after some maybe once our register new user uh, api and everything is ready maybe we will just remove this code as well now let me just start the application and we can just test our api from the um, postman and once it looks good from the postman then what we will just do is we will uh, take care from the ui side as well so now let me just uh, come to the postman and now let me just uh, use localhost 9090 slash 90 slash and let me just copy the api name let me just copy the api name and now let me just come to the it let me just make it as a post let me just come to the body let me just come to the raw and we can just select json over here and we can just pass our json over here so how we can pass it we have to just take some uh, cautions over here let me just come to the user entity and let me just copy these particular things like username user first name user last name user password so the json keys should be exactly same as um, whatever we have used in an entity so that is the reason i am just copying it so let me just make it as so let me just make it as username and let me just remove this private string something like this and let me just give the username as let's suppose uh, lpy at one two three user first name is learn user last name let me just add some last name user last name is programming yourself something like this something like this and user password is lpy at the rate pass so let me just assign that password lpy at the rate pass something like this and we have missed a comma so let me just give the comma uh, like this and now everything seems perfectly fine you can just uh, try to check like how i have used uh, all these things over here so let me just show you by just uh, doing some zoom something like this and it is looking like this just make sure that you are just using like username user 
first name last name password you are just using this key exactly same as the way we have used in our entity class now let me just do one thing let me just send it let's see what happens and now if you just send it you will get the response and in a in a response you will get all these uh, things like um, you will get like username password and if you just see password is an encoded password and uh, you will get the role as well and role is a user role and role description is like default role for newly created uh, record so these are all the things we have um, like role and everything we have seen in a detailed manner for in our jwt sessions but let me just quickly show you um, how our how our um, role looks like so let me just go to the services and now let me just go to the role services and over here not in a role services let me just go to the user services only yes so in a user services if you just see we are just um, like uh, we are just initializing some roles as well we are just initializing like uh, admin role and we are just initializing the user role so whenever we will run the application these particular two roles will automatically get created in our database and that is the reason i'm just trying to use um, this user in our method something like this so we are just trying to find it by the user so now i hope you got an idea around this like how we can create one api so that we can register the uh, user in our application and um, so for this session i'm just stopping over here we are we have just created the api in the next session what we will see is we can we will just see like how we can use this api and how we can uh, create a form on our ui and how we can uh, take the details from the user and how we can store um, these um, user field details in a database with the help of this particular api so i hope you got an idea around this like how we can create the api in a register the user if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help you out in that case and i hope you enjoyed this session and i'll see you in the next session